As time passes, we can't predict when Starship's second orbital flight will occur. The delay doesn't stem from any issues with the vehicle or its engines. Rather, it arises from the Federal Aviation Administration and environmental organizations in South Texas. However, this is not the end of the road for SpaceX. Despite some agencies that tend to pose challenges, SpaceX continues to maintain a strong position, particularly thanks to the support of the Texas state government. And you might be wondering, what exactly does this agency do? In reality, what they do for SpaceX is more significant than you might think. Stay tuned as we dive into this and more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Musk doesn't like being told what to do. That's partly why he decided that his company, SpaceX, would build its launch site on private land in Texas as an alternative to the pads he leases from the U.S. government. Since SpaceX laid its foundation in South Texas, they have transformed Boca Chica Beach into the epicenter of Starship activities. This place has become a pilgrimage site for both Musk and space enthusiasts from all over the world. Musk even named his city Starbase, and it has truly become the brightest star in the solar system. Many local elected officials and business leaders in Brownsville see SpaceX as a way to bring a brighter future to one of the poorest counties in the state. A mural featuring Musk's face adorns the center of Brownsville, and the city is beginning to reap the benefits of his patronage. According to a recent economic impact study, SpaceX invested $430 million on operations in Cameron County. Brownsville Mayor Trey Mendez said, This included payroll, construction, and capital improvements. Last year, the company added $885 million in gross economic output for Cameron County as well as continued job growth. He noted that the company has become our largest private employer, with 1,600 employees, 71% of them being from the Rio Grande Valley, and has established a substantial footprint within the city limits for various operations. Inside the city limits of Brownsville, SpaceX has leased 46,000 square feet at the Brownsville Aerospace Industrial Park, which is located at the Brownsville South Padre Island International Airport, investing $500,000 to renovate and upgrade the facility. Those are definitely some out-of-this-world numbers, Mendez said. Back in 2011, in a glass-walled conference room at the California headquarters of Space Exploration Technologies, or SpaceX, Chief Executive Officer Elon Musk told Texas officials he was interested in building the world's first commercial rocket launch pad in their state if the state could compete. In the months after that meeting, state and local officials gave Musk a billionaire in his own right, what he sought. About $20 million of financial incentives, laws changed to close a public beach during launches, and legal protection from noise complaints. Texas officials said they're necessary to lure jobs sought by many other states. They told us, you're one of quite a few locations we're looking at. Gilberto Salinas, executive vice president of the Brownsville Economic Development Council, which recruits businesses, said. Salinas said he concluded that the project would transform the region. It made me want the project, Celia said. I thought, if we're not going to go all out for this project, which one will we go all out for? Despite its white sand beaches, rich Texas history, and subtropical climate, Brownsville has a reputation for being a sleepy border town that is usually only mentioned in national headlines when it comes to immigration issues and border violence. Town officials knew that Musk's SpaceX was wonderful. Our children's future just took a huge step forward and our community is well on its way to becoming a vibrant and thriving community. Brownsville Commissioner Rose Gowen said, The deal was sweetened with a $15.3 million in incentives from the state of Texas at the time. However, everything for Starbase seemed to become uncertain during a meeting organized by Musk at the site on February 10th of 2022. And to be honest, even when SpaceX was constructing the launch site at Starbase, there were plenty of issues. Politicians debated the benefits of the launch complex, lawyers argued over regulations, and environmentalists expressed concerns about how the giant rocket factory and developing site would impact wildlife. Furthermore, the broad area environmental permit, as well as the launch and testing licenses for Starship rockets, faced numerous delays and challenges. Therefore, the thought of abandoning Starbase was not entirely out of the realm of possibility. Musk has said he might have to move 
move rocket launching operations to Florida if there are any further delays in getting environmental clearance. He has said research and development could continue at Boca Chica. Of course, just doing R&D at Boca Chica will not please economic development leaders in the Rio Grande Valley. They view the potential of rockets being launched from Boca Chica as a great boost for the region's tourism. The worst fears of South Texas supporters had been voiced. I didn't know any of those plans beforehand, says Jessica Tetro, a Brownsville City commissioner and passionate SpaceX supporter who was in the crowd that night. I'm glad that somebody asked that question because we get a lot of insight. What startled us was when we heard the timeline and how they would have to start moving things to Florida. We just knew that we had to work that much harder and that much faster to improve our case that Starship belongs here in South Texas. Even so, the idea that Boca Chica Beach would become the gateway to Mars has been associated with the site since its inception. At the 2014 ribbon cutting, Musk positioned the spaceport as a place where history would be made. If SpaceX demotes its Texas spaceport to a research facility, an economic benefit will remain from the demand for skilled workers. But there are an estimated 1,600 employees at the Starbase facilities, and some of the jobs may be moved to the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. In 2013, we were named by the U.S. Census as the poorest city in America, and that was ironically the same year that SpaceX selected this location for the next launch site, Tetro says. It really feels like destiny, like something that was always meant to happen, like they were always meant to come here and save us from that situation. And they absolutely did. I just hope that we can continue that momentum and not lose any jobs to Florida or have to relocate any of these families. Faced with the situation where a major aerospace company could potentially depart, the leaders of the state of Texas spoke up. Texas Governor Greg Abbott had signified support for SpaceX and its mission to receive federal authorization to launch its Super Heavy slash Starship aerospace system from Boca Chica Brownsville. Abbott explained that the process of gaining federal approval for the launch site seems unnecessary and stands as yet another exhibit of the federal government obstructing innovation. The Republican governor added that he has worked with SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk and he believes that approval will help both SpaceX and the Texas economy. Speaking on the approval process, Governor Abbott made it clear that he is fully behind Musk and SpaceX and would do everything he could to help the company obtain the required licenses. What I am going to do if Biden interferes with the ability of SpaceX to launch from Boca Chica, I am going to be working every step of the way to make sure that they are going to be able to launch from Boca Chica. We heard the vision from Mr. Patel himself about what they are working on, and our job is to make sure they can achieve their vision. Abbott added that his administration will work with SpaceX directly to ensure that the company can be based entirely in Boca Chica. The governor's passion is understandable because the benefits that SpaceX brings are truly substantial. Now that Texas has captured SpaceX, it wants to ensure a safe and accessible environment for growth. Earlier this year, Texas Governor Greg Abbott called on the state legislature to provide three $350 million for the establishment and funding of the Texas Space Commission over the next two years. With companies seeking to expand space travel in coming years, continued development of the space industry in the state will ensure Texas remains at the forefront not only in the United States, but the entire world, Abbott stated in his budget document for the 88th legislature. Further investment will cement Texas as the preeminent location for innovation and development in this rapidly growing industry. Due to increased competition from other states, and internationally, further planning and coordination is needed to keep Texas at the cutting edge. According to this document, the commission would focus on policy and arranging statewide strategy by monitoring local, state, and federal policies and opportunities and establishing an economic ecosystem for Texas's space enterprises. It would include 15 members, including those appointed by political officials, as well as an appointee, each from SpaceX. That's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. And so for that, we thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again next time.